Hello everyone, my name is Prototype and welcome back to another Knights and Dragons video. Now today we are going to be talking about something that Gree actually tweeted out. It is a picture of an armor that will be coming out in the future and it's just absolutely incredible. It fixes a lot of the balance issues or at least it starts to fix it considering it's only one armor. And it brings forth many interesting things that I can teach you so be sure to stay tuned for the entire video if you want to learn something new that will apply to every single armor that you get. So let's get right into it. Here Here's the picture that Gree tweeted out. Now as you can see, it says 200% damage versus spirit and double guild elemental bonus. Now I was really confused when I saw that, but then I looked at the elements and as you can see, it is a dual element, but both elements are fire, which is very, very unique. It's something that has never happened before. And this kind of fixes the issue where monos tend to be very much weaker. This pretty much um, doubles the bonus that you get from your guild on monos. So it puts them on the same exact playing field as a dual element armor, considering this technically is a dual element armor now. In some situations, this armor may be even better than a regular dual element armor, depending on what the elements you are that you are facing, and of course what the elements are of the armor that you're comparing it to. So I've actually done some math and I've calculated all of the stats for this armor. So there they are on the screen. The noob stats are the stats you will get if you max it and you're not in a guild, which is very, very unlikely. But just so you know, uh, we're going to use that in the future of this video, so be sure to pay attention to those stats. I'll put them back up there in the future, but still, that's why I have them up there. So commander stats are 4,272 attack and 4,424 defense. Very, very nice. And then we'll go down to the GM stats, 4,699 attack and 4,866 defense. Now these stats are without a jewelry set. Now despite the original picture, this actually does have a jewelry set. And as you can see, those are the stats for it. I was unaware of this at the initial recording of this video. You can easily reach 6,000 attack or defense on this armor if you have the proper jewelry. Now I'm actually going to show you guys something that will allow you to calculate what your max stats will be when you have your jewelry on it and not really depending on each level but of course you could take the stats from whatever level you're at and apply them or apply that to this formula. So prepare your minds because this is about to get full of math. If you hate math then go ahead and leave now but I would really recommend that you guys stay anyways because this is very useful information for you guys. So there is the equation that I'm using. Now in order to calculate the stats for your jewelry, the max stats, uh, you're going to take the noob stats that I showed you guys earlier, which is without a guild bonus. Now this is very important because you don't add the guild bonus until after you've added the jewelry stats onto your knife. So you're going to take those noob stats and you're going to add your jewelry stats, which means if you have 500 attack on an amulet, then you're going to add 500 on top of the noob stats. Now once you have the sum from your jewelry stats and the noob stats, you're going to multiply that by 1.2. Now the reason you do this is to create the effect of the guild bonus. Now you may already be in a guild, but you want to wait, of course, to apply this 1.2% until after you've added your jewelry stats, just because that's the way that Gree has programmed the game. Now you want to multiply it by 1.2 because, like I said, that is going to be generating the guild bonus. Now, the picture did say that this armor does get double guild elemental boosts, which means it's going to double the bonus that you have for your fire element as a guild. So if you have a 10% bonus as a guild for your fire elements, then you are going to be getting a 20% fire element bonus for this armor. Now, if you had an 8% guild bonus, for fire, then you would only be getting a 16% bonus and you would multiply it by 1.16. Kind of some confusing math if you guys don't know exactly what all is going on, but for this example we are going to use 1.2 because that seems to be the most common thing. Most people with this armor are going to be in a maxed guild. So once you've done that, you have your uh, noob stats plus your jewelry stats and you multiply that by 1.2, you are going to get X, which is the basically the commander stats. Now, that is uh, going to be without any additional bonus, for example, High Commander bonus, or Guild Champion bonus, or even Guild Master bonus. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to apply your Guild Rank bonus. So I have it all written out. You're going to multiply X by 1.05 if you're a High Commander, 
you're going to multiply X by 1.07 if you're a guild sentinel or a guild champion. And finally, you're going to multiply X by 1.1 if you are a guild master. Now this is going to be how you can find out the stats for any armor. You just have to find out the noob stats. In order to find the noob stats, you are going to add the maximum stats for each armor. So for example, this one is 3244 attack and you're going to add 316 to that. Now the same principle applies for both attack and defense. You add 316 to each of them. That is how you find the noob stats without any guild bonuses. So I hope you all found this tutorial very helpful. You can use this, like I said, for any armor that you want, but I just used it for this one as an example because it does have a little bit crazier stats. So that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.